Okay, so what's holding us back? Let's look at that. Because we all, we all know what we've got to do intellectually. We know that if we diet, we will lose weight. We know that if we hit the phones, we'll make the sales. We know that if, we'll, if we are looking after ourselves, we'll feel better. I think what I've seen with a lot of people I know, time. They don't have time. Is that, is that an excuse that comes to mind? Can I tell you, I recently spoke to a group of top female lawyers. They really were uh, high-level ladies. And I asked them what they would do if they had one wish in life. What they, and they all just wanted time. An hour here, an hour there. And I said, what would you do? The one wanted to go shopping. The one wanted to go and walk on the beach. The other one wanted a bath and a glass of wine. Another one wanted to read her book. And it's amazing, these highly paid <coughs> professional women saying, we just want time. We just want time. So you've got to ask yourself, we all have the same amount of time. How am I going to make that time work for me? What can I delegate? Is there anyone you can delegate to? What am I doing that doesn't actually work for me anymore? I've often noticed in our company, we look at the admin. Sometimes in your business, you can look at it and say, is this admin working for us? Or can, is there a quicker way we can do it? Maybe uh, refine your processes there. Money. A lot of people are saying, I don't have the money to do this. But I find a lot of our goals, money isn't really the problem. Um, we can sort of make a plan. Fear is a big one. How many of you feel like if you were a little bit more <coughs> confident, you'd be prepared to do something? I used to train entrepreneurs a few years ago. And this was the biggest thing. I used to have people saying, Cindy, you know what I really want to do is open my own business as an example. And I'd say, what's stopping you? They say, I don't know enough. One day when I know more, that's when I'll do it. And I'd say, you know enough. You actually know enough to do whatever you need to do. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then lack of self-confidence. A lot of people would think somebody else would have a better chance of being successful. And that's a question I always ask. I always ask people in a group, how many of you would like to be successful this year in 22? Have your most awesome year yet? Does anyone say no? You, no, not for you. <laughs> um, but then I ask you, how many of you expect it to happen? A lot of people, believe it or not, have already written it off. It's been a bad year. It's been a bad start. Does anyone feel it's been a bad start? But it's not even halfway through. And I've even asked people now, this, you won't believe what some people do. I've asked them to look at the person on their left, say. Do you think the person on your left is more likely to have a better year than you? The answer is no. It doesn't matter how, how amazing the person on your left is. We should be rating ourselves. And I've met so many people who've said they'd rather, they'd rather put their bets on somebody else than on their own lives. So the question to ask is, what is my self-confidence out of 10? Not that showy self-confidence, but how do I believe in myself? How Am I powerful this year to climb? Um, and what self-limiting beliefs do I need to chuck away? What doesn't work for me? I remember as a child thinking, I'm not good at maths. I'm not good at maths. I'm not good with figures. And it's funny, as an adult, doing courses and getting distinctions for accounting and maths, it's just a, a mindset. Being told as a child, you're so clumsy, shame. You're two left feet, you can never do any sport as an adult to running half marathons and thinking, so much for my two left feet, they got me here. Um, what do we have to break away? Some families have these kind of weird thinkings, oh, no one in our family ever amounts to much. Not your family, but you know others. And things like that, or, or no one's happy, or, or, you know, what's holding us back? Is there something we're going to change? A new way of viewing ourselves?